Hi, this is Alemi from Yeo Botanica and welcome back. This week we're going to have a little class on making a spiritual bath to bring forth clearance, cutting away any kind of blockage and kind of opening the way, but really kind of cutting things away. And so this one today is really easy, really to the point and very inexpensive. So we have basil all from the supermarket. So I like to call this supermarket magic. Rosemary, smells really, really good. Thyme, all of which we cook with, really smells nice. And fresh sage. And so a lot of times people see this and they wonder, is this the same sage that they burn? Um, there are so many different types of sages. This can be dried and burned also, but this is fresh sage. I have a little Florida water and we have our basin of water. So let's get started. So the purposes of putting together a spiritual bath, it, herbs are maybe one of the strongest things that you can ever use to clear yourself, clear your environment, bring something forward. It's natural. It grew out of the earth. It's not synthetic. It has oils. It has perfumes leaves, sticks, it has everything, water, all of the elements all in this one thing. So a lot of times people are not sure how to do this, so I decided I was gonna do a video. So, rosemary. So to do a really good ritual, I would advise you to uh, take this bath over a minimum of three days. I don't think seven days is necessary. You can do three days and then after the three days, maybe you take a day of rest and then you do something that's really, really strong attraction. But this bath definitely will bring forth attraction, cleansing, breaking. Um, if people have um, some craft on them, this is good for that. They feel that they're just having blockage and uh, things just aren't seeming to come together and work out. This is great for that also. Um, I'm doing this in a basin because a lot of people do not have bathtubs or they don't have time or want to make time to take a bath in a bathtub. So for those of us who have a very hectic lifestyle, this is perfect to do. This bath is also a bath that can be used on children. Um, I like to use things that are good for everyone. Uh, there's nothing harsh in here, but everything in here is very strong now that we put it all together. So this is thyme. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Not to mention the fact that I could use some lunch. <laughs> so we have sage. I'm going to put some sage. And fresh sage is... It should be pretty easy to find in most supermarkets. A lot of people like to cook with it, um, but it's fantastic for a spiritual bath. And see, it's got these leaves that are kind of fuzzy a little bit. You know, they've got this kind of almost feels like a tongue. And then on the back has this nice um, kind of felt feeling. So we've got those in there. Now we're going to add some basil. And basil is good for thousands of different spiritual uses, but it's excellent for a spiritual bath for luck and a spiritual bath for breaking. So this one today, we're just going to show you how to use this one for taking away any kind of blocked energy, um, opening things up, cutting away blockage, mental, spiritual, emotional. Um, this is also good like if you're wanting to do a, a bath to help to break financial blockage. Let's say you have been having issues getting a new job or um, getting that raise getting things to kind of come together. 
cut and clear work is always good for that. And so, as you can see, starting to get more and more green. You want to massage this while praying about what you want. And so this is really, really good, like lively, positive conversation, right? This isn't like, oh, they've done some bad things to me. No, that's not this kind of bath. This bath is about breaking away blockage, environmental blockage, um, financial blockage, uh, just feeling that things are stagnant and wanting to kind of br break up that stagnant vibration. Got someone coming in. We're going to ask them to be real quiet. <laughs> so this is kind of your method, right? You can do this any way you want. Some people like to put this stuff in a food processor. I don't really care how you do it. But the more of your essence and your ashe, as we call it, your power that's in here is better for you. So now... We would have kind of broken all of these up. Some people love kind of being in the tub with the herbs and everything floating around, or you can scoop it up and pour it on yourself. I'm gonna add a little bit of Florida water, which is um, just a touch of Florida water. Oh my gosh, this is like beyond good. You can also use this like a splash, you know, you can splash all over yourself. Um, I would personally sprinkle some of this on the floors in my house or take a little bit in a bucket and mop my house. You know, all of this is about bringing forth that breakthrough. And if the breakthrough first is in our environment, right? So we want our environment, where we sleep, where we live, to, to feel that breakthrough so that it expresses itself in our life, right? So again, this is our spiritual bath for today three days for a breakthrough and another video I'm going to do a candle that goes with this so you can put them all together and this is a Lemmy from Yeo Botanica Ashe and good luck see you next time thanks for watching if you enjoy the video definitely like us give us a thumbs up share us with others send us your comments come visit us in the store and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.